we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, do a combination of two pictures. Okay, so the very first thing I did is, um, well, let me show you. So I'm going to go File, New. Okay, I'm going to leave this uh, in this size. So it's 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Okay. And I'm going to keep it with a white background. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. All right, so now we've got our black canvas. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go find uh, an airplane pic or an airplane picture. Okay. I'm going to Google search, go to images. I want one that is kind of going sideways, maybe like this, okay? So, because um, I'm going to put a bull rider on top. I thought it would be kind of fun to do that. So, I'm going to left click here. The preview shows up, okay? And now I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to go to save image as, okay? Uh, I'm going to call this uh, plane. And I know it's going to my desktop. I'm going to hit save. <coughs> All right. Now I'm going to go do the same thing, but I'm going to find uh, Bronco Rider. Okay. So I'm going to go images. So I want to find a picture. Let's see here. This one is kind of small. Notice the, the resolution here. So I'm not going to pick that one. I want something that's a little bit bigger. And I want them facing... I want them facing to the right. So let's see here. Yeah, it might be good right here. Okay, again, that one's a little small. Notice the pixels. Okay. So maybe oh, these are all going to be small, aren't they? That one's okay. That one's better. That one's Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select this one because I like the uh, pixel size that we have here. So I'm going to right click, save image as, right? I'm going to call it Bronco. All right, it's going to my desktop. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Photo P and I'm going to put my airplane pick in here. So I'm going to go File. Open in place. I named it plane. There we go. Okay, so that fit in there kind of nice. And so now I have that here. So notice right here, okay, uh, we're going to have the background layer and the plane layer, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, oh well, first I got to hit the check mark. So hit the check mark up here. We're all good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the Bronco, all right? Okay. So right now I'm not really worried about where uh, this is or what size it is. I can always resize it later. So now what I want to do is I want to use the eraser tool. So this is one of the easiest ways to put two pictures together because you're just putting one on top of the other and then you're going to actually erase the one in front. Now, um, normally when we do this, this has to be a raster style uh, photo. So when I click the eraser tool and I come over here, I may get an error message. There you go. Okay, so it says, uh, sub, uh, smart object must be rasterized first. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to come over to my layer over here, my Bronco layer. Okay, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say convert to smart object and then up here 
I'm going to click on Rasterize. All right. Okay. Now, let me zoom back up. So now, I should be able to erase. Okay, now, this is really small, right? So what I'm going to do is, right next to the letter P on your keyboard, there's brackets. As you click on the brackets, this is hard to see right now. Okay, so that's really small. So as I... click on this, notice that the circle, so I'm touching the P, the, I'm sorry, the brackets next to the P, so the one on the right makes it bigger, the one on the left makes it smaller. And what that does is that allows me to do this and erase large quantities of a picture, and then I can go back in later and kind of fine tune it with a smaller one. Alright, so let me do this real quick. Okay, we're, we are getting rid of the horse. So. Uh, we're just going to have, it looks like a lady, I think. I don't think I got rid of her leg. Okay. Now, um, let me see. I messed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out. And so what I did, okay, so take a look here. Okay. Notice that this is a history tab. So since I erased her leg, right, right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back before I erased it in the history tab. Okay, so now I'll go back in. I'll try not to erase her foot this time. We are going to erase the horse. Let's kind of do this kind of fast. I want to make sure I don't do a boot this time. So I think you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm going for. Okay, now. I'm going to make this smaller and I'm going to zoom in, but first let me get rid of that. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, now I'm going to go to the eraser tool again. But now I'm going to make it smaller because it's too big. So I'm going to shrink it down. Okay, and now I can just kind of get in here. Try and just go along the body. Okay. I think that's part of the horse right there. That would be kind of cool because the plane will show up underneath it. It's a strap, so we'll leave it there. Now, when we zoom out, It'll look better right now. It's just kind of there, right? Get in there, get close. So we we'll see what I'm doing, hopefully. I'll go back in there with the big one and erase those little details. Then I'm moving out. Okay, so now. The more time you take, the better it's going to look, right? Take pride in your work. Okay, so now I'm going to increase this again. And now I'm going to get the stuff that's just left over hanging out.
There we go. Okay. So that's probably good enough. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to, to make it uh, the opposite. So this zooms in. To the opposite of that, I'm going to hold Option or Alt. I'm going to zoom out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Move tool. I think I should probably make her smaller, huh? Okay. So if you don't have these boxes around the outside of the uh, picture, it's because this is not turned on. Or it says Show Transform Controls. Okay. If that's not on, then you can't see the bounding boxes and you can't resize that person. So what I'm going to do is turn those on. Okay. So now, um, let me see. I'm going to hold Shift to resize her a little bit. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate her. So where? Let's see. Let's have her up front. Make it look kind of like she's riding the airplane. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. Or we're going to just take one picture, put it on top of another. We're going to do the rasterize, and then from there, we're going to uh, hit check mark, obviously. And now we're going to go file, export as JPEG, and you're good to go. Okay? Alright. I'll see you in class.